When will the Fed cut interest rates? This question has been open for a couple of months now and uh, Friday's non-farm payrolls report is expected to trigger another round of discussion about the timing of US rate cuts, likely causing uh, extra volatility in the US dollar. Meanwhile, a rate cut decision in the Eurozone is a done deal this week and perhaps it might be also a strong case in Canada. So uh, let's have a look at what the technical signals suggest about uh, dollar yen, euro dollar and dollar loony in this week's uh, technical outlook video. So starting first with uh, dollar yen and the US North Ampere's report, the uh, world forecast suggests uh, a rebound in jobs growth and uh, a steady unemployment rate as well as stable average hourly earnings which could be uh, which should be uh, dollar positive but uh, looking at the technical indicators down here we can uh, see that uh, the rsi the stochastic oscillator are showing uh, well are like are, are, are signaling uh, lacking buying interest so that suggests that uh, a downside correction might be uh, more likely than an upside one especially after the creation of this uh, engulfing of this bearish engulfing candlestick pattern over here so uh, if the data disappoint uh, then we may see uh, a negative correction probably a break below the uh, 20 day moving average and the 156.35 territory could confirm additional losses towards the 154.55 territory where this broken descending trend line and the 50 day simple moving average are both placed. Below that, I would pay attention to the 153.60 territory and the 153 number. This is where the 50% Fibonacci tracement of this uplink as well as this key constraining line are located Okay, that a break below that territory would worsen the short-term outlook. Uh, now, if uh, if the data suggests a resilient US economy uh, and uh, justify uh, the uh, justify rate cut delays, uh, that could take dollar yen uh, towards the 157.80, 158.40 key resistance territory, where these up where the 2024 uptrend. Uh, Peaked. Uh, if uh, we successfully overcome that wall, then the attention will turn to the 159.35 region. This is where this uh, uh, broken uh, support turn resistance trend line is uh, located. And uh, while the 160.20 peak from uh, the end of April could also come into view uh, higher than that, uh, the rally could stretch towards that uh, feed ascending line at 161. Looking at uh, euro dollar now and the ECB's uh, rate decision, uh, while well, expectations are for a 25 basis point rate cut this week, uh, the decision is already priced in, so uh, the rate announcement may not cause uh, strong volatility in euro dollar, but the central bank's guidance could make the euro move since investors are still uncertain about whether there will be additional rate cuts in the coming months immediately after this week's uh, policy meeting. So, if the central bank questions about uh, when the next uh, rate cut will take place, uh, if it announces a hawkish policy guidance, well, euro dollar could break the 1.0860 and 1.0880 resistance territory, which has been uh, blocking upside movements over the past uh, two weeks. A successful close above that bar could take euro dollar up to the 1.0940 and 1.0970 constraining zone. While uh, higher than that, a break above the 1.10 and 1.10. 35 territory and beyond these uh, constraining lines over here could be important uh, could be important in um, confirming additional gains. Now, if uh, while well, looking at the technical indicators, so while well, the signals are mixed, uh, the RSI is still uh, is still moving sideways, uh, slightly above its 50 neutral mark. The stochastics are also uh, are also steady, so. 
Uh, that suggests the weak uh, buying uh, interest if the pair fails to uh, climb above the 1.08 to 60 and 1.08 80 territory it could uh, revisit the 1.08 uh, support region then uh, lower than that uh, i would pay attention to uh, the support trend line seen around 1.0755 while uh, this uh, falling constraining line at 1.0740 could also attract attention a break below so that uh, might uh, cause another bearish correction toward the 1.0690 so only a decisive close above this uh, longer term uh, ascending uh, line uh, which supported the market uh, back in October and also in April might uh, worsen the, uh, the long term outlook. And finally, looking at uh, Dollar Looney and uh, the Bank of Canada's policy announcement, a rate cut uh, could be a strong case this week in Canada, but investors are also positive that uh, July's meeting could also uh, be an ideal timing to cut interest rates. Uh, so if the central bank surprisingly keeps interest rates steady this week and also uh, reduces the odds for a July rate cut, uh, that could help the loony to uh, recoup some lost ground. Uh, perhaps uh, dollar loony could ease towards its uh, 200 day moving average and towards the support trend line seen around 1.3580 3578 uh, in this case a break below that floor could then uh, retest the 1.3537 territory where the 50% Fibonacci retracement of uh, this uplook over here is located uh, while lower than that if the 1.35 level fails to hold then all the attention will turn to the 38.2% Fibonacci mark of 1.3450 which is uh, close to this uh, support line over here alternatively uh, well the pair will need uh, a decisive close above the 1.3645 uh, level and perhaps beyond the uh, 20 and 50 day moving averages in order to reach the 78.6% Fibonacci of 1.3740. Uh, in this case, uh, well, uh, for that, uh, for such a rally to take place, the Bank of Canada will need to uh, cut interest rates and also uh confirm an additional rate cut in the uh, coming months uh, if the 1.3740 level proves easy to overcome then the 1.3775 and 1.38 territory could be the next target uh, higher than that uh, we may see another test around the 1.3844 uh, peak taken from mid-april a break of which could take us up to the 1.39 uh, territory. Well, from a technical perspective, uh, well, uh, upside uh, risks seem to be low. We can see that the RSI continues to trade sideways around its 50 neutral mark and the stochastic oscillator keeps trending downwards. So uh, downside risks are still intact in this market but uh, a dovish a dovish central bank meeting could help uh, dollar looney to uh, to stage another uh, bull run perhaps uh, a stronger you know, Perros report could also be a positive catalyst for this market at the end of this week so uh, that's everything i wanted to share with you guys uh, thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye for now